Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. I did not get a chance to get a washout. Washout meaning they wash this out. So I'm going to have to do this the hard way. And uh, so you guys can help me by observing how I do it. So I need your help. Now your job is to make sure that I don't miss a spot. I'm doing this the hard way. You know what? This is taking too slow. I'm going to show you my special power. I'm going to speed this up like Superman. Now, like Smallville. You know, Clark? This is how I do it. Watch, it's going to happen really fast. I mean, really fast. Oh, 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 boy, that's really tiring. I gotta take a break. So how did you guys like my special power? I bet you guys didn't know I had special powers, right? Now you know, just don't tell anybody. It's secret. Otherwise Clark Kent at Smallville will not like it. All right, I'll catch you later, peace. Now that I got done uh, sweeping out the trailer, I gotta slide this tandem all the way to the back. And so I will demonstrate. I almost forgot to pull this up. Oh! Holy smokies. Now that I slid the tandem all the way to the back, I need to not forget this. That has to come down, and that pin right there has to be in the hole. There are four pins, two on each side. Otherwise, if, uh, if the, let's say the tandem was slid all the way up to the back, right? 
and I run down the highway and I have to slam on my brake or use my brake, guess what's going to happen? If this was over there way in the front, I slammed the brake, the tandem is going to slid all the way to the back and all the way to the back about a mile before a mile uh, after the road so that would be really bad okay one more thing that I would like to emphasize now that the uh, now that the tandem is slid all the way to the back guess where all the weight of the trailer is now leaning on it's leaning on the tractor uh, drives and uh, the, the tractor oh, steers. If I was to slide these tandems all the way to the front, that means most of the weight, not all, most of the weight of the trailer will be leaning on these tandems and tires. And so that's why if you're overweight in the front, you slide these tandems all the way to the front but if you're overweight in the back you slide this to the back but there's a point where uh, you can't slide it it's actually illegal to run on the street on the highway with this tandem slid all the way to the back because then you start messing with the bridge law don't ask me what the bridge law is something with the weight distribution or whatever I call it just another tax but in most state you can't slide this tandem more than uh, somewhere here 39 or 40 and it has to be that number right here has to be even with the axle all right, I better get going. We'll catch you later. Peace. Hi there. Pick up number. Uh how about a one zero three five eight one three two zero? Okay, send them all the way back. Is this trailer clean and empty? Yes, sir. Super tank full. Yes, sir. Drop today or a live load? I'm sorry? Are you a drop today or a live load? I have no idea. Welcome to our club, but they haven't told us shit in three years, so we don't know. Okay. You've been here before? Yes, sir. Okay, go park and check in and uh, park over here? No, park in the third row behind England trailers. We moved your clothes to that way. You okay. must have not been here in over three years. Yeah, I've been a while. Park behind the England trailers, then just walk in the same area to check in. Uh -huh. And if it's loaded, this one will go in the second row where all the reefers are, and the loaded one will be there. Okay, thanks. I just gotta go check in, give them my paperwork and or my pickup number. Actually, I don't have any paperwork to give them. But I do have to give them my pickup number. And we shall see if this is a preloaded trailer or not. I'm hoping that it is.
drop and hook is such a dream, a truck driver's dream. There ain't nothing better than a drop and hook. Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. It turns out that my preloaded trailer is not preloaded. In fact, this load does not schedule to ship until 7 p.m. tonight. But they've already got the trailer preloading at door 35. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop this empty trailer to the drop lot and uh, hooked up to door 35 which is trailer 11144 and once I am loaded they gave me this little buzzer right here it's the same buzzer that you get at the restaurant once that's loaded this thing will scream and light and vibrate and uh, so let's go ahead and drop this trailer. They say it'd be ready for about one more hour. I should be loaded in one mile, one hour. So what that really means is I'll be out of here in two hours. When the shipper says it'll be ready in an hour, I mean, just two hours. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a little kind of a truck driver's trick for those of us who have been on road for a while. You see how close that is? And the crank is on this side. Here, yeah, I'll show you. Okay, on this trailer, the crank is on this side. That trailer is on that side. Now, I could certainly squeeze in here, right? But how in the world am I going to crank that up or crank it down? There's not enough room here. So this is what I'm trying to demonstrate right now. Instead of backing up the trailer all the way in position and start cranking the dolly down, here's the way I do it. You crank the dollies down Not all the way. You crank it about two inches off the ground.